good to be here. It's, um, I'm settling in well. I think uh, everyone at the club's gone above and beyond to, to make me feel settled. Um, and obviously I've now met everyone and um, yeah, sort of already feel like it's a home away from home. It's, uh, it's a place I've been before and, and experienced and, and loved when I've come here before. Uh, once with football, once on a holiday. So I always knew it was a, a nice place to come, but actually coming here and spending a bit more time and, and starting to think of my life here is uh, something that excites me and uh, everyone's been really welcoming. It's, uh, you know, fortunately enough in my career, I've, uh, I've played in England for, you know, my whole professional career and I've had some great experiences, um, some challenges. I've always enjoyed new challenges and, and different challenges at different clubs I've been at. Um, and experienced some great occasions with, you know, big success, like you say, at Wembley and, um, you know, I've been to the World Cup, uh, two World Cups on the national team and, and played in the last World Cup. Um, and I always feel like, what's next? What's my next challenge? And, and from the moment I spoke to, to the guys here, here at the club and in the Lion City Sailors, I, I got a real sense of passion and pride and, you know, the big picture of the big project that's trying to be built here, I think. Um, once I had those discussions and, and saw what the club was wanting to do and what direction it wanted to, to take, you know, the club itself, but football here in Singapore, I, I quite like the sound of the challenge and being part of something big, I guess, more than just football itself. It's, you know, creating um, you know, something exciting here for, from the academy upwards. So um, from the moment I come here and got to see the facilities, you know, the infrastructure is put in place and what football means here to people. I, uh, I kind of had the taste of that and, and wanted to experience it. So, uh, you know, I think the footballing here is heading in the right direction. It's getting better and better. And you know, I want to play my part in, in winning games for the club, but also improving football here as a whole. Yeah, I think um, in terms of a country, I think people here are passionate and friendly and really easy going. I, I got that feel and, and sense of um, lifestyle here when I've been here before on holiday so I knew what to expect I knew it was a, a great place to be in terms of the footballing I knew it's a country that loves their football um, and albeit probably you know probably hasn't had the strongest league in Asia but you know definitely this club wants to wants to change that and, and create um, a team that everyone can be proud of and be proud of in Asia so um, like I said it's the the big projects not just a short-term goal here I think it's the the long-term project of what it wants to be and, and to take this club and Singaporean football in the right direction. I think you know, I spoke to a lot of boys that play for the national team here and you know they, you can see there's a real sense of pride in representing their country. I think it's a it's a special place. It's a well organised, well run country um, and really safe and and the food's incredible. I've, uh, I've experienced some different cuisines already and everywhere I've been, everyone's been super friendly and the food's been unbelievable. So. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great place. I'm looking looking forward to exploring more and learning more about you know football here and and about the country. Um, I guess you could say there's um, there's the competitor me, and that's what you see on the football pitch, day to day training, um, in and around you know the professional environment, and then I guess there's the there's me that probably takes a step back and is a little bit more chilled and easygoing. So. Um, me away from football, pretty easy going, like the simple things. Um, you know, I've, I'm a father of, you know, and a husband. I've got two, two beautiful girls and my wife that are both back in England. And I love my family time. I also have a dog. Um, so I, I cherish moments like that with them and, and seeing my family grow. I'm, uh, yeah, pretty easy going, um, not too fast. But then when it comes to a football pitch, I, I guess I'll become someone a little bit different. I'm a, I'm a competitor, I like to win. Um, I like to influence those around me and, and try get the best out of them to get the best out of myself and ultimately the team and sometimes that's with encouragement and, and driving and pushing teams forward and um, leading by example and um, sometimes just putting an arm around people so I, I guess I've, I've learned a lot about myself as a, as a leader, as a, as a person in football. Um, I'm someone who naturally likes to lead sort of in my nature. Um, if I want something done I tend to just get it done and that's the way I am. So. Um, yeah, I, I like winning, I like competing, I like yeah, competing and um, having that fire in the belly every day when I train and play and um, yeah, I guess I, I can't really change that, that's, that's who I am. Yeah, I, I, I'm still very ambitious with what I want to achieve in football and um, I think that matches up with the club's ambitions. It's obvious that the club wants to win, 
wants to win cups, wants to win the league, and obviously we've got the Asian Champions League to look forward to, which is a whole new experience. So, you know, I have uh, individual goals I want to play and keep clean sheets and, you know, try and win every game from now to the end of the season and, and see if that brings us some silverware. Um, and then, you know, outside of club football, I, I very much, you know, I've got big ambitions to keep playing for Australia and the national team, and um, we've got an Asian Cup to look forward to. So um, I want to make sure I'm, I'm in form um, and doing as well as possible to give myself the best chance to, to be selected for that because, you know, you never know, you know, national teams, you know, the opportunities are a limited you only get to get, get to play for your national team every few months and even then you've got to be selected and, you know, it's a, it's a tough, tough thing to do because there's a lot of good players so I have ambitions there, I want to go to go to the Asian Cup and win the Asian Cup with Australia and um, so I've got a lot of uh, goals along the way but first and foremost I have to you know, focus on here, play well and win games of football and I know that the rest sort of looks after itself. Of course, yeah. Um, from the moment I had discussions here there was a belief, a sense of belief. Um, that's, that's the target and that's a realistic target I think. You know, like I said then, if we win all our games from now end of the season, I don't see why we can't put pressure on all the other on, um, on the other teams. And yeah, I, I, from watching the last few games and seeing the performances and the way we've gone about our business, I don't see anyone stopping us. There's, there's moments along the way, and sometimes the ones that kick you on the furthest are the biggest setbacks you have. So whilst you know going to the World Cup, playing the World Cup, um, when at Wembley. Um, you know, all them professional sort of experiences you go through, sometimes the ones that really spur you on and the, the moments where you feel like kick you on or when you're injured or you go through your setback. So, you know, I had a large spell when I was at um, Bristol City where I just couldn't, I couldn't stay fit. I couldn't quite figure out what's going on every time I tried to get fit. And it kind of like just forced me to keep getting stronger mentally, stronger physically and to really put myself in the position where I didn't have to go through that again. And when you go through moments like that, with certain people that, that help you, of course, they're, the, they're kind of the moments that push you on to then you, you see the rewards, but you don't see the work that goes in behind it. So I guess that's, that's the memories I have, the moments that kick you on as a character and make you uh, more resilient and stronger. Yeah, um, I think football is, you know, football without fans or community like that's what football is all about really, it brings people together, it's a social environment, it's a place where people can come and support the one thing and see their team win or lose but you stick together and when I was a kid I always think back to you know just playing for my local team, young young teams if I got to meet any of the, the senior players or first team players, always looked up to them and um, kind of valued anything they shared with me or experience or information or time ten times more than anyone else just because it's where I wanted to be. So I sort of thought, well, if I ever had the opportunity to, to be like that, I think um, you can have such a large impact on people just from being who you are and doing what you do, um, then you should. I think it's, it's good to be kind, it's, it's good to be good. Um, and I think, yeah, I always enjoy the community side of things with every football club I've been at. I think, you know, they're the ones that support us week in, week out. Um, and while you play football, we've all been in that situation before where we're kids and striving to be part of our football club. So um, yeah, it helps you settle, it helps you get to know people in the area and um, I also get a kick out of it as well. Just, yeah, it's good fun when you get to join in and have a kick with kids and they ask you some crazy questions. If there's anything you learn with kids, they're very honest. Um, and yeah, we can learn a lot from them. So yeah, I, I enjoy, you know, getting involved in any part of a football club or a community whenever I, whenever I get the chance.